Hey, I'm just curious, Liara. Can you feel anything in those big, uh, hard, chitiny head horn things that make up your head? I'm just wondering if they have any feeling in them. Or if they're like toenails. I always pictured them sort of being like calluses. Like, they are skin, but they're much more dense, and it doesn't have a lot of feeling. No nerves go through them. Kind of like that. Oh, so many, you know, side quests and missions and such. They use the same building design, just Lego block uh, buildings, as I like to call them, where you just snap pieces together, different pieces, and expect people to say, ooh, it's an all-new area. It's a trick they do quite a bit, and thought game, well, at least games with a good budget. Bioware has quite a bit of money, actually. I, don't, I think they should have been able to, I mean, was Bioware poor before this game came out, or was this just sloppy at times? Did they have the ability to do this concept better at the time? Okay, I forget which way I'm going. I wish I could zoom in, but no. Well, I can. In this one, I can. That's pretty sweet. Got you, sis. Diagonally. No, it was got you. Diagonally. Pretty sneaky, sis. Why am I thinking of the Connect 4 commercial when, uh, I should be... Ugh. Isn't that a Connect 4 commercial? Another non-sequitur brought to you by Jammo. Where is our freaking Mako? Hey, Ashley. Wanna make out in the back of the Mako? Or Mako? Joke would have been better if I pronounced it that way. In fact, that's not even really a pun. That's sort of like a half pun. Because they have a similar sounding first syllable. Yeah, I could have done better. Okay, let's get off. Get off! How do you go back into space? Not that way. I'm causing irreversible damage to the moon. Because, oh no, if you have a crater in the moon, the results will be disastrous. This place... It couldn't stand to have a crater. It's too vital that it be smooth. I mean, there's no craters on the moon. That's just silly. Uh, where is the button? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Return to... Return to... Blah. How do I do this? And Oh, press the N button for Normandy. That seems kind of, uh, silly. I mean, why not just L for leave or Q... No, Q gets you out of the vehicle for some reason. I don't know. Just seems kind of weird to specifically have N for Normandy. Okay, um... I have a sore throat and I'm still recording. I'm pretty awesome like that. Why am I walking this way? Well, I don't want to talk to Joker. I want to ask Seth Green a question. Because... I wonder if Seth MacFarlane is as much of a jerk to work with as I think he is. Okay, l hey, let's visit Earth. Warn them that something bad is going to happen in the third game. Oh, where's Earth? Where's Earth? Where's Earth? Where's Earth? Where's Earth? Where's Earth? Oh, yeah, it's right next to Luna. I'm near the moon. I should know where freaking Earth is. Wow, the Earth is like the Earth, but futuristic. Hey, it's nice to see there's still grass. Population. 11.4 billion. Wow. Population's almost doubled. That's kind of scary, actually. People are going to end up having to live in little cubicles where they don't have any space to breathe, but hey, it keeps people stored, and... I don't know. What would happen if the world got ridiculously overpopulated? Well, I guess it's a space age. Moon to s move to some place, it's better. Novaria. Novaria. It's a place of ice and snow. It's the place you really should go to when you need some stuff. No very control, this is the SSV Normandy requesting a vector into birth. Normandy, you're Vector's a good serial. And I don't know how you can give birth, Joker. You're just not you're, you're just not capable. You're a man. Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted. 
advised we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. It'll be crushed into a humongous cube. I think I'll take my next leave here. Your stubble is awesome, Joker. I wish I could grow a beard like that, but I'm not a redhead. I don't have the great red beard growing skills of Conan O'Brien. He looks good with a beard. Looks a bit more uh, professional. Not professional, but you know, you add a beard to someone, they immediately look older. Some people don't suit beards, though. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ashley, you come with me, and you know, for a change, let's... Oh, okay, get Ashley, and um... Okay, we need... Should I get someone to be Oh, I don't know. He has okay biotic strength. I'm going to bring Rex just because Rex is awesome. And he always has something cool to say. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding you actually ever heard sure. of explosive decompression? Expressly it's when you're in a compression chamber and there's no proper uh, adjustment of pressure. And what happens when this happens, like if it jumps all the way to a different pressure s level you basically your blood boils and you explode all over the room I'm not joking this has actually happened if you're in a submarine that goes deep sea diving and you don't have a decompression chamber that's working properly you will explode in there when going to the surface I'm not making this up you will ask your uh, s local submariner if you need information I'm sure they have pamphlets how to not blow yourself up in a decompression chamber That's far enough. We're the Pink Brigade! We're here to promote breast cancer awareness. Step aside. I'm on important business. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. Yeah, well, we're, we're wearing pink and you're wearing black. I don't trust you. You're seedy. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. You're pretty. Get out of the way, I outrank you. All you need to know is I have more credentials than you. They plan to be trouble, man. I can't let you enter the port area without confirmation of your identity. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Pink versus blue. Or black, or whatever they are. Don't try it. We look like we're freaking made out of peppermint. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. No. <laughs> One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down. Perfect timing. What are the odds? We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Karasini san will meet you upstairs. Panini-san? I love paninis. Those little grilled sandwiches with the beef and the peppers. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, no one's gonna... <laughs> I can't get over our armor. Look at us. We look ridiculous. Oh, this is just ridiculous. No one's gonna notice us running around. Oh man, at least Ashley looks respectable. I mean, she looks good in this outfit, but look at Rex, <laughs> look at me. We look like clowns. Sh I'm shooting at your water fountain. Or whatever you call that. What is that, a water cascade? Or a, a place where water runs down? I can't say it's a fountain, because there's no spraying involved. It just looks cool. Hey you! You're not, you have no purpose here but ambience. You say nothing. You contribute nothing. So screw you. Whoa. Yeah, we have guns. We're not afraid to use them. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Analeas? His name is Analeas? Like he is in the Analeas family made up of annelids? Worms? Yeah, that's no coincidence, I'm sure. He's not a worm, he's a freaking Salarian. He's a salamander man. Salamanders are not worms. Learn your biology. Someone pissed in your security chief's coffee today? She takes yes, but it was Turian piss, which actually doesn't taste that bad. To the company. 
One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Hmm. Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I know what you're doing. You guys are internet pirates. You run Napster, don't you? Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Oh, well, that's fun. Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? Cured AIDS yet? Have you cured AIDS yet? Well, yeah, I'm sure that should be your priority if you care about the future of the universe and all that. But no, no, you're probably growing some kind of weird, freaky mutant bugs down there. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Boob lady? Saren's second in command. She's here? Oh no. You ought to watch out for her. She's pretty evil. She's a threat to galactic peace. I'm here to bring her in or put her down. The board doesn't like having outside problems dumped in its lap, Commander. I do what I feel like. Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Now, I'll require your cooperation, cooperation. You know, I looked all over the Citadel for an Orange Julius, and there better be one here. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Who's uh, Mr. Wormy Pants? Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the administrator's office. What? Commander, maybe we ought to tell Liara that her mom's here, or bring her along. It might take Benezia off guard. I don't know, Ashley. Now, you get an extra bit of dialogue if you bring... Oh, maybe I should bring her. Yeah, I'll bring her. I need to stop being an Ashley fanboy. I need to bring up... <sighs> Sorry, Rex. You wait in the cockpit. Yeah, I'm not taking Rex. Is there any way I can, uh... <sighs> ah! This isn't the entrance. It's a misleading entrance. It's like a docking leg or something to hold on to the ship. Yeah, normally I don't bring Liar on this mission because during the fight with Benezia, uh, spoilers, uh, Liar can, uh, ugh, stop it. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Okay, um, the yeah. Commanding officer is aboard. During the, uh, fight with Benezia, Liar is actually pretty poor at fighting her since she has all these Asari commandos with her and... They are very resistant to biotic attacks, and that's pretty much uh, Liara's one-trick pony. She is only good with biotic attacks, and she doesn't have very good check strength. So actually, maybe I should cancel that out, actually. Yeah, bring Tally. It's more balanced then. But, uh, t yeah, it's pretty, uh, blah. I'll say that much. It's a very tricky fight, and all this game's technical problems don't help much. And it's probably my least favorite part of the game. And on top of that, once you think you beat her, they throw a stupid curveball at her, you, and then she kills you, and then you have to start at the beginning of the fight before you beat her the first time, because there's no stupid autosave that works in between, and it's just annoying and frustrating, and, ugh, I hate the fight with Benezia. And I'm bringing, I'm taking a risk by bringing Liara on, but you get a bit of extra dialogue, and but at the same time you lose what I kind of, uh, you lose sort of that fighting edge against her, because Liara is terrible at fighting her. It's like you know, if you try to defeat an opponent's Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> and you try to fight it with a gloom. <laughs> Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. But I have guns. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. Beam!
Boom! Sorry, I just love that sound. The managers warned us about you. What did they say? I love their owl there, like, I'm thinking, uh, Oh well, he's firing guns, who cares? Hey, holographic TVs! See, this is another thing that I really don't like about holograms in these type of games. They're such cliche, unrealistic holograms. They're like, uh, colorful paper illuminated floating in air. You know, if this, that's like, let's say, that's probably what hologram displays will be like in, let's say, maybe 10, 20 years. But this is past the year 2200. Holograms should be very clear, crystal clear, like you're watching a high definition image displayed. Even holograms now have that kind of technology, but they can't be animated or fluent or programmed in any way. So, why does, just because it looks science fiction, you, you gotta make holograms, you know, all cheap looking. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanshan. Oh, yeah? Well, you're a big, stupid jellyfish. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If I'm not gonna you scratch here, your back, Jelly. It would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Oh, you want me to smuggle? What is this guy? Is this some guy, kind of awkward nerd? But he's also like a very respected programmer in the business, and he doesn't want people to know he's been like buying sex toys off the internet, so I gotta smuggle it? You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. Uh, stop talking all scientific and literal and why, do, why does everyone have to talk like a weirdo? I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the specter. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. Fees? Is there anything else this one might help you with? Goodbye. I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. Okay, uh... Yeah, um... Sorry, I was kind of distracted there. I gotta go grab my... Once again, take a stupid elevator, because, you know, this game gotta have elevators. Let's go smuggle some goods in. Let's go smuggle the respected engineer's, uh... Weird anime blow-up doll or whatever he's ordered from some sick website that took his money. It's obviously some kind of taboo product, and you know, I'm not going to say drugs, because I can mention blow-up dolls, but I'm not talking about the hard stuff that can mess up your kids' minds. That's what I am. I try to be family-friendly, but I'm very pick-and-choosy, and, choosy, and I'm, I'm trying to loosen up a bit, because this game isn't for little kids. If I was playing Mario, oh, I don't know, people are going to get mad at me. Mario's not for little kids, it's for everyone. Well, yeah, that's true. If it's tr true that that's for everyone in the sense that Pixar movies are for everyone. They still market them for kids. This game is not marketed for kids, regardless of what Fox News says. Wait, do I have the package? Did I pick it up? I think I did. Hey, I'm going to talk to you. Hey, that's awfully rude. This is a very CD facility, and it's kind of adhering to the real is brown trope. Everything has to be gray or brown if it's realism. Real life doesn't have a wide spectrum of colors, of beautiful colors and all that. If you want an environment and you want it to look futuristic, gray or brown, all those shades, that's it. That's the rule. It's 100%. You can't... I mean, look at, look at, uh, Epic Games with Gears of War. Pfft, colors. That's just a waste of time. That's for babies. Colors are for babies. Colors don't exist in real life. Oh, yeah, I'm not turning him in. I'm not giving it to Analeas. I'm giving it to Mr. Squidbelly here. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Hmm. 
here's uh here's your dirty magazines whatever they are here you are the specter has done a great service for this one from the deepness of light it thanks you this one promised compensation for service